Hey there everybody. In our previous video, I did a flip of my personal 4x6 flow journal, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now let's get cracking with this journal. I want to make a glue book, just a very small glue book to work on while I am away from my office. So I thought that we would put one together today. This will be I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is just bind it, you know, really simply with a stab binding. I'm not sure if it's a stab binding, but I'll show you how I bond it because I have all of my little binding tools with me. So first thing that I want to do is put the glue book together. Now, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take L take papers from my 4x6 and tuck them into this cover. I like this cover. It is... Um, I think it's eight by, hmm, hold on a second. I don't have, I need to go somewhere and get a ruler today. This is eight by six. So these are usually found in the five by seven journals because, uh, you know, they're a little bit big to go here. They stick out a little too much, which I don't mind things sticking out. Um, but in this case, I don't really want things sticking out. Of my journal and when I make journals for you guys I really don't I, I don't like things sticking out um, all right so let's get started um, I'm gonna try and not say um 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 I am used to listening to soundscapes all day long I turned it off because we never know if that's a copyright infringement or not <laughs> And, and I'm trying to fill the space in this, in this huge house with my voice, uh, which is weird. Um, see, I did it again. Let's take the elements from here, just papers, and different size papers. I think that'll be fun. And make us a little glue book right here. I'm standing up so I can make sure that I am... In frame okay you know just the beauty of a wrap binding is that you can take things out right so I'm gonna go ahead and slip this out just like that now I'm looking for blank pages because I'm making a glue book so I don't want heavily decorated pages. I just want some blank pages so I can play in my glue book. This looks like it would do nicely. Anytime you have grid paper or lined paper, that's always really nice to use for a glue book. I'm trying to not deconstruct it completely uh, because I do want it to hold together. Trying not to empty her out too much. The cool thing about these papers like this is we've got a background to work with. So we can glue book over this. We can do something very simple with this, which is the next video. We're going to decorate our glue book. We're going to go ahead and start gluing in it. Let's do one more page. I'd like to find a piece of cardstock, kind of heavyweight cardstock, just for the middle. And I might not have any in here. <clears throat> I don't like anything text related. This is kind of a chunky piece of cardstock. I'm taking the Harry paper clip off. I'm taking whatever this is off. I'm just going to use this for the middle of my glue book because anytime you use some cardstock, it gives it a bit of stability. So I'm going to close up my flow journal, set it aside, and then I'll decide how I want these papers to be arranged in my glue book. Now remember, this is a piece of cardstock. So I'm using a piece of cardstock for the cover. 
And then this is my middle uh, because it is kind of, it's a piece of cardstock as well. So I'm going to take the middle page and start building around it. Here comes a kitty cat. One of the cats has just been sitting at the door. You open the door and, and he doesn't want to come in. He just wants to sit there and stare at you. <laughs> He's a funky fella. All right, we've got everything all settled for our glue book. So we're going to tuck all of our papers into the cover. The way that I'm going to bond this is, you know, Jenny Belly taught me how to bind years and years ago. Uh, just take a, um, I like to punch my holes using a washcloth because I think the holes come out a little, a little nicer. I'm not measuring, just kind of eyeballing the center here. And then I'm going to come down about an inch, make a hole. Another inch and make a hole. I'm going to thread my needle. And this is one of those things where you can leave a really long tail on it. You can do a short tail. I think I started pulling from the wrong wrong place. I did. Now I'm gonna have one of those. I'm going to have an embroidery floss ball. <laughs> oh well. And grab my scissors. I want this journal to be um, neat and compact. I'm not putting a tail on the outside. I am going from the inside. If you go from the inside, your knots will be on the ends. Your ties will be on the inside. If you go from the outside you will have a tail and on that tail you can put beads or you know charms or whatever you want but we're going to go from the inside here so i'm going this way and then i'm going down to the bottom like this and then through the top like that and then through the middle hole again it's kind of a figure eight when you kind of break it down. I'm going to tie right here. And then let me clip these like that. And there we go. We have a little glue book that we are going to be working in while, um, while I'm stationed here in my sister's house. Let's do a little flip. This is how things turned out. I think what I should have done is kind of push this paper down a little bit, but it's okay. It will work for me. And there we go. So we have a little glue book to play with. Um, to construct with while I am away from my office. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you will take your flow journal and make yourself a little glue book. Talk to you soon, y'all. Bye.